Welcome to Spoken English Day 11 Lesson 21 Tenses To improve our English it is very important to use the right tense in our sentences We all know that we need to improve our roots to receive good fruits So to get good fruits of English we are now going to learn the roots of English that are tenses These are the main fundamental pillars for speaking and writing correct English and we definitely must learn them properly. But during our phase of learning, we might have really felt them to be hard or we might have felt them to be very boring. But with this help of this video, we have tried to introduce to you tenses in the most easy way. Tense is nothing but a time of action it actually describes when an action has taken place with respect to time the time of the action could be past present or future let's just consider this timeline that is below the circle represents the present time the line to the left of the circle represents the time that has already passed by and shall be considered to be the past time and the line that is moving ahead to the right hand side of the circle is called to be the the expected time or the future time that we are ought to see tenses are divided mainly into three types past tense present tense and future tense each of these three types have four subtypes simple continuous perfect and perfect continuous you can just consider this as a family tree where the grandfather is tense who is having three children past present and future each parent are having four sons with the same names like simple continuous perfect and perfect continuous combining all these children total there are 12 siblings as such present simple present continuous present perfect and present perfect continuous tense past simple past continuous past perfect and past perfect continuous future simple future continuous future perfect future perfect continuous these are the 12 siblings that play a very important role in this language of english i have just summarized to understand its importance with the help of an example let us take the most basic sentence that is the simple present tense i drive a car this type of sentence signifies is the ability that you know to drive a car let us move ahead if we want to talk about it in the past simple what would it be this would turn up to be i drove a car that refers to in the past i used to drive a car now i have stopped driving a car the future simple tense will turn up the future simple tense will turn up to be i will drive a car or i am going to drive a car these are the variations of the simple sentence i drive a car let us just understand what would its impact be when we change its 
form from present simple to present continuous. The same sentence, I drive a car, will now become, I am driving a car that refers to you are in the present activity of driving a car or taking the car from one place to another. It is an activity that is continuous and has not ended. In the past continuous form, it will be I was driving a car. And in the future continuous tense, it will be I will be driving a car or I am going to be driving a car. Turning the same sentence from simple to continuous, now let us come to the present perfect tense. I drive a car in the present perfect tense will be I have driven a car. In the past continuous, it will be I had driven a car. And in the future continuous tense, it will be I will have driven a car. Please note the word have, had and will have are the words that are used in the perfect tenses. Whenever we use or whenever we need to write a sentence in its perfect form, these are the words that are used. Had, have and will have. Moving ahead to perfect continuous. I have been driving a car. Just see the transformation that we see from its simple form. I drive a car to be changing to I have been driving a car. I drive a car is the ability whereas I have been driving a car is something that says it's a present form and you are doing it from a lot many years. The past perfect continuous tense shall change to I had been driving a car and the future perfect continuous tense will be I will have been driving a car. The word had been, have been and will have been are the basic three words that would be used to frame a sentence in its perfect continuous form. May it be the present perfect continuous, may it be the past perfect continuous or may it be the future perfect continuous. Moving ahead to the importance of tenses. Is it really important to use the right tense in the sentence? Yes. To understand the meaning of the sentence, it is quite important to use the right form of tense. There, these are the basic three important rules. First, for a better communication skill. These tenses help in better communicating with someone on any aspect. It can help you to change a sentence from its active voice to a passive voice. It can also help you to change the sentence from a direct speech into an indirect speech. Definitely, through all this lessons that we have learned on the basis of tenses, we have been very clear that tenses definitely play a very important role in a sentence. So my dear students, 
use the right tense when you put forth a word to the or when you communicate to the people around you don't use a past tense to talk about the present situation don't use a future tense to talk about the present situation or don't use a future tense to talk about a past event thank you and happy learning